Hey, Ben from Ben's Backwoods here. Today we're going to continue talking about dressing for cold weather and we are going to do a review of these 100% wool GI scarves that I sell. Uh, we'll do a quick uh, look at these things and we're going to get into some of the uses, so stay tuned. So here we are, a close-up look at the two, uh, the two color scarves that we sell. We've got an OD green and a black. Uh, I'll see if we can get a quick close-up of the, uh, the label on here for you. They are 100% wool scarf, made in USA. Really nice, fantastic soft wool. These are about 9 inches wide and 56 to 58 inches long. They are a tube light construction that is sewn together on the ends. This is a very uh, soft wool. I don't know what they're using, but I would say it's pretty much no itch and I'm, I'm really pleased with the quality of wool. It's definitely a better quality of wool than they use for the uh, the GI hats and the watch and the, the watch caps. So we're going to talk about so. the the uses of a scarf and uh, different ways I, I I wrap it around my neck. Uh, some of this may seem overly simple, but it's it's handy stuff to to know. And um, a scarf, I believe, is a really really underrated piece of equipment for for cold weather. Like I stated in the past, uh, being able to close down your neck here and be able to vent your neck is huge for warming up and for cooling off when you've overheated so this scarf i mean this is old school this is the way they did it this is how you you kept your neck warm or or how you very easily open this thing up and vent it so the first quickest and the easiest way of running a scarf is just basically hang it over the back of your neck um, this would be this adds a little bit of extra extra warmth to you right here. You're kind of letting the front of your neck vent, so this is an easy way to vent. A lot of times I will tuck one side of the scarf over this way, one side of the scarf over this way. Uh, usually I'm tucking that into another layer. If it was this sweater, I would tuck it into the sweater on this side and then on that side. And when it's tucked into something else, it, it kind of keeps its form and you can pull it up around your neck. and. Uh, and you get that neck closure here and if it's tucked into something well enough you can even pull it up and and get around your face and just under your nose with it but this is this is kind of your your quick and easy um i use this a lot because it vents very easily if you've got to open this thing up you'll you can vent if you've got to kind of snug it up around your neck you get extra extra body heat another uh point to mention is these two you can see how wide this is here uh this hanging down this tucked into a sweatshirt or a sweater or a jacket this is actually adding another layer of insulation to your for your kind of your core body temperature here and it makes a, a pretty good size difference um, if I remember right uh, Morris Kohansky is quoted at saying that uh, a scarf is is equivalent to like an extra sweater or an extra layer and it, it's very easily put on and put off so uh, there's there's that basic way of using it so now a little bit colder weather um, I might do kind of a wrap here and what I'll do is I'll kind of uh, get the back of it up kind of the not the top of my head but but close and I'll put this right under my nose here and wrap here you won't be able to hear me very well go all the way around the back of your neck and take this extra and kind of pull it tight and tuck it in now I've got the back of my neck, the front of my neck, the back of my head, ears, nose, mouth. Pull this down so you guys can hear me. That's pretty good coverage. This is on here pretty snug. This is not going to vent really easy. So this is more for a situation where you need that extra warmth and you need to, uh, uh, you know, maybe sitting still, maybe maybe deer hunting, maybe uh, ice fishing, something where, where you're not going to overheat. Uh, but this gives you a lot of extra... Um, the warmth and the ability to get right up, cover your nose, cover your ears. Um, this really works well with uh, with some type of wool hat, you know, as an accessory. So that's that's really kind of a, a, a really good way of going. I use this uh, a decent amount. Um, next on the list, I would say, is. Um, is using this to kind of seal off a, a hood or some type of coat that doesn't have a good neck closure and this is like below zero temps you've got you know exposed skin is is uh, 
is starting to hurt where you, you really need to seal yourself off. So I'm going to throw this uh, uh, wind shell on real quick and show you guys how I, how I tie it off around the neck for this thing. Stay tuned. So here we are. Got my uh, Swedish uh, wind shell anorak on. Uh, some of these don't have the best closure around the neck. So, and also, if you've got, and I've got a zipper on this one, which is awesome. Um, if you need to seal off your face, a lot of times, I'll take this thing, and this is this is below zero temps, where you really, really are dealing with some uh, really cold wind. I'll take this thing, wrap it around the back of my head. I give it one one nod in the back, and then what I do is I take those tails in the same direction they're knotted, wrap around one more time. And I feel like having it wrapped around, around twice basically uh, keeps it nice and snug. It doesn't loosen or, or uh, loosen up on you too easy. And this gives you the ability to really seal off um, around your face. Like I'm saying, if you're walking into a driving wind, something like that, uh, this is this seals off your neck and your face. And this is another great way to use this. Um, another trick I use, and sometimes it's worth carrying two of these, these scarves. These scarves are not huge. I think, I think they're about 56 to 58 inches long. But in a pinch, I've used this as kind of a sash. If you really need to take a jacket and seal off the airflow coming in from underneath you, especially if you had two scarves, and a lot of times it might be worth carrying one scarf for your neck and one scarf to basically uh, knot up here. And then, like I said, tuck, tuck the excess around one more time. This stays snug. This, this will also work to... Uh, seal off airflow coming in from underneath these so it's, it's kind of a multi-use product um, they're not expensive i find myself using these quite a bit so uh, i'd like to hear your comments below and um, thanks for watching